Yo guys, how's it going and welcome back to our Rainbow Six Siege video. Now today, as you've seen by the title, we are going to be doing the Rainbow Six Siege voting glitch again. Now I'm going to make this into a little series. I have now got multiple spots where I found it on on multiple maps. And today I'm going to be covering Oregon and Club. Now the only ones I found on Oregon and Club are obviously like small right now. But still, one of them is a really good spot because you do get a really high floating bit. And again, it helps you out a lot. Now, where did I just get shot from? I don't have... Oh, that's a nice little spot he's got right there. Didn't really see him at all. Let's have a look at this. Look at this clip again. I was running. Don't have a headset on. And not bad aim, to be fair. But still, going to the video, I just want to say that we're going to still be doing Rainbow Six Siege content every single day for you guys, just to make it easier for you. And obviously, I don't want to leave out Rainbow Six Siege, considering this is what we started on. But I will be doing Fortnite and other games along the way, so it'll be like daily uploads and stuff like that, you know. But, you know, just to help you out, there's going to be more content for you guys. And especially if you like both of the content, then it's double uploads for you. But with that said, we're going to get straight into the video. And all I'm going to say is we're going to hit 100 likes in the first 24 hours, just as a little target, obviously, to get the like by button up. And so we get out there a lot more. If we can do that, that'll be really helpful. But apart from that, like, subscribe, turn notifications. And if you do that, then you've already done the first three steps for the giveaway. So why not do the rest? So now, let's get into the video. Now, we've actually got two spots on club. We've got one upstairs and we've got one downstairs. The one upstairs, again, isn't that helpful, but it's just a little one I thought I'd add extra, purely because it's really OP. But the one downstairs is super OP and it's easy to do. So what I'm going to do now is just head all the way to the garage and show you what to do. So first of all, all you want to do is just pretty much go up to this little ramp where the bikes are, obviously, if you don't know anything about bikes, that's how they get the bikes onto the ramp so they can actually modify them and work on them. You want to walk up to it, and you should start to get a little like lift on it. Then from there, you want to go prone, and then you should go down a bit as you go prone. And from there, all you want to do is just literally prone and like crawl off. And from there, what should be happening is you should be floating. So if I throw a camera out now, as you can see, I go into the camera and I'm floating in the mid-air. Now you're probably thinking, well, this is pretty useless. You can't really do anything from it. Well, basically, this puts you at the head. Well, basically, this puts you at the height of a crouch. So if you're at crouch, but then you're prone, so your body is smaller and you're less of a target. Now, this just makes it a lot harder for them to shoot you. And especially if you can start crawling around kind of the map and getting used to bits, then you can start hiding in a little like closets and cupboards and stuff like that. And again, it's really useful. But the best part about it, say for instance you went to the good old fashioned spawn peak, you're going to be doing it at quite a like crouch error, and everyone expects it to be kind of at a really low prone error, so they expect it to be a kind of like there, whereas you're going to be doing about this height. So you shoot out a little hole, again you can be prone, you can get a nice little angle in it, and it's going to be hard for them to get you, because again, you can move a lot quicker because you're prone and floating, and you can actually just go in and out, in and out, get a nice few shots, and it's super easy to do. Now as soon as you do stand up, you literally get rid of the floating, and you can get back to normal. But if you want it back again, just go into the ramp, go down, and literally just prone straight off and crawl off, and it's easy to do. I don't know what it does downstairs, just try it out. So as I'm going downstairs, it still works, and I'm still floating. So you can move around the whole map, get into little certain cupboards you want to get into, get some nice hiding spots, and no one's going to really see you. That's the best part about the glitches, but I know as you do go downstairs and stuff like that, that it does take away. But as you go upstairs, what happens? Just have a look. You might go back to normal. You might obviously lose your floating bit. You're still floating, but you're not floating as much as you were at the start. That's because you've changed levels a lot and everything like that. But you know, but still you can get into really good places and it's super easy to do. But now I'm going to go on to the second one. I'm going to make these nice and short. I've explained everything about them. Now the second one is going to be upstairs in the cash room. It's sort of like the kind of bank vault cash. And it's the same thing again. All you want to do is just go and lie on the cash or the cash, even not clash. Shoot out all the money and from there you are floating. It's that simple to do, and from there you're going to be floating in the area, and this is probably my favourite one to do. This is because, again, you're at that height of kind of like a standing person because you're on that table, but still you've got a very low kind of target. Make sure you don't fall off, because if you do fall off, like that will happen. But still, where you are floating and you're doing it, you're at the height of like a standing person, but you've got a very small target. This makes it harder for them to shoot you, and it's, if people start to shoot you, then again, it's going to be harder for them to kill you, and obviously you can get more advantage against them, and get a lot more kills against them, which is very handy. But really, that's the second spot, easy to do, and again, that's one of the rooms to hold as hostage, so if you're playing casual on hostage, or even playing bomb, because that's a bomb room, again, it's a nice little angle just to hold, because you're so small and it's easy to do. But apart from that, let's move on to Oregon and show you the other two spots. Now, starting off, we are going to be in Oregon, and we're going to be based upstairs. Now, this probably upstairs one is probably the best one out of the two, again, I'm starting off with the best one, just to make it easier, and again, it's super easy to do. You want to come upstairs into the dorm area as we're spawned, go into the kids room and come and find this little blue ball, I suppose it's kind of like a 
weird like air flow to ball as we call it in the UK and all you want to do is just go over to it you want to kind of push a bit forward and eventually you should go up kind of like a like lift or just like a kind of push upwards then once you get there you want to go prone then after that, again you're floating and now this is probably the highest one you can get being prone because you're really high and that's the best part about it you can see how much gap there is and again i'm at the height of that as you're kind of floating ball super easy to do and all i gotta do now is just keep going around find myself some little hiding spots super easy and you can just hide now there's so many places you can go if you can just squeeze yourself in it really does depend some areas you won't be able to get in at all but obviously you just gotta find out where it does work where it doesn't and just find these little things but still like i said right now i'm at the height of a crouch as you can see i'm at the height of the hostage and all you can do now is just pretty much get some nice little peaks again this is one of my favorite peaks Purely because I'm at that kind of crouch height, I've got literally no target against me. I can just hide behind this kind of like area like wooden box kind of thing. And if I get shot at, then they have the risk of shooting the hostage. I get an advantage and because that's a window where everyone pushes from, I should get some kills from it. The only downside to this agile glitch is that you do move slowly, but still you kind of move a bit faster than you do actually as the kind of a normal pro. Now again, I'm going to show you another little kind of spot where you can use this for on this map. So what you want to do is just come over to this kind of spare bedroom by the dorms and same thing again, just come over to this little doorway and just hit out this kind of bottom bit here. That's all you've got to do and then from there you've got a nice little dirty peek onto the actual kind of ambulance way and you just got to wait for them to come in and go boom, boom, boom. Some nice little headshots, they're not going to expect it and that's the best part about it because I believe if you go downstairs you can't see really fully down to the bottom of that doorway. So if we pull down this barricade and have a look from where would they would be running from as the attacker, I believe you can't really be seen. As you can see, you can sort of see them, it's not a lot, but where you're going to be floating, you look like you're going to be part of it, it's not that noticeable, and if you hit up less of the barricade, again, you're just going to get some easy headshots, and again, it's going to be some nice little kills that they're not going to be expecting against you. So really, that is it, and now what I'm going to do is just show you a way to be able to do it downstairs, because like I showed you earlier, if you go upstairs to downstairs, you do lose some of your height. So all you want to do is just come over to one of these kind of little sandbags. That is it, you just gotta find one that obviously gives you a bit of a bump up. It, that is really it. And I recommend obviously going to around like these ones or I believe maybe like somewhere over here. You just gotta find a way up and it will just bump you up. See guys, I use these ones, these ones are a bit better. You just gotta go to the corner edge, then literally find a way to be able to go prone to it, push this up, and then from there you wanna go across. And as you saw, I get pushed up, and then again, I've got that kind of little floating bit here. Go into the actual thing, I'm floating once again. It's super easy to do, and you I think you can keep on doing this, become refloating, and like I said, you gain a little advantage across all the other players. People because you are such a smaller target, but you're at a high level, it's almost like you're flying in the air. It's really weird, I don't understand it, but you know what, they're in the game. And if you want me to make more series about this, or where there's more kind of floating glitches on all the maps, or like just the rank maps, I'm happy to do that. It's easy stuff for me to record, and thought, why not? But apart from that guys, that's going to be the video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope the video is not over 10 minutes because I don't want to seem like I've explained it too much. But I've kind of explained all of it, the ins and outs of it, just in case you didn't get it. But like I said, subscribe if you're new, like if you enjoyed the video, turn on notifications if you want more Rainbow Six Siege content, because I upload every single day, and I believe I uploaded like three videos today, which again is insane, the output is just really good for me. But also give me some like, input on what I should upload next, some more spots, some more glitches, if there is any in the game, and also just let me know what I should record while I'm away. And the last thing as well, let's try and hit 100 likes in the first 24 hours. If we do, then I will announce the giveaway straight away instead of waiting for 15,000. But apart from that, guys, until next time, see ya.